This isn't gonna work well. It's fun. Warning, the following program contains explicit language and references which may not be suitable for all audiences. Parental discretion is advised. Well, hey everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Dirt Guy Drive Time. Four episodes in a row, including this one. That is a main sauce because uh, I have this tendency to like, hey, let's make videos, boom, 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 and then I just disappear. <laughs> I go on some friggin' hiatus, I don't know. What's going on? Anyway, I'm here now. Enjoy it while you can. So, uh, hey, by the way, this is uh, my therapy vlog where I just drive home, talk about crap. Uh, some of it will change your life. Most of it won't. <laughs> Most of it's kind of boring. Speaking of boring, man, I even told my boss today. He called me towards the end of the day. Hey, what's going on? How you doing? I was like, uh, a little boring today, boss. <laughs> He's like, well, what, well, what happened? Nothing happened. I, they're bolting steel together for the steel building and they're digging out footings for concrete. There wasn't a whole lot for me to do today. Email was really slow. I don't uh, I don't work well like that. The day just dragged on and on, David. You guys like Schitt's Creek? You ever watch Schitt's Creek? My wife and I are like on our sixth time through it. We watch it every night, sometimes twice a night. David, watch it, you'll know what that is. That's for Cindy Brown, my wife, the queen of everything. Anyway, so um, thank you to um, the viewers, uh, subscribers, and commenters. Because back in the day, I don't know, um, three years ago, maybe, um, I had a flat tire oh, back here on the right. And uh, I was going to put it on my spare, but I couldn't get the damn tire off the truck. Now, before you start talking about lug nuts and crap, okay, I had the lug nuts off. And that thing was just seated on there. I couldn't get off the truck. So um, I, I mentioned that in the video. And then one of the comments was, see, I read comments. One of the comments was, just loosen the, the lug nuts up a bunch. And then just drive it a little bit, like a few feet. Not like drive it to work, okay? And that'll sort of just use the weight of the truck and the rotation will pop it off. All right. So I had same effing tire. Was losing air so I decided uh, my day was so boring I was gonna put my spare on and actually bought me a tire repair kit we'll talk about that in a minute so I uh, got the lug nuts off and sure as shit that thing would not come off the truck again so I uh, light bulb I had a light bulb moment I uh, loosened the uh, the lug nuts like almost all the way out and I just sort of drove like this about 50 feet and backed up 50 feet. Jacked the truck up, boom, that came right off. It ah, was amazing sauce. Put the spare on, Bob's your uncle. Tire repair kits. Now here's a little tip for you from your uncle Steve, from the dirt guy, from yours truly. A, a tire repair kit at Home Depot, at least here in California, is like 10 bucks. It comes with five, five, yeah, five little repairs. And you can take the tire off the car, pull out the screw or nail that's in your tire, ream it out, stuff this crap in there, boom, tire repaired. I did it on my front right one uh, a few weeks ago, still holding there. So I did it on this one, but um, I need air in it, so it's in the bed of my truck right now. Anyway, a little tip for you. You don't have to go to a tire place to repair that tire, just boom, Bob's your uncle. I think Bob's your uncle count, because I think it's twice including the time I just said that is three times now oh whatever hey mom's coming home uh Cindy Brown my wife the queen of everything is on her way at 3 30 she's gonna go pick up uh gamma and uh, bring her home and uh apparently she's got a like almost degloving on her arm when she fell down sad news is she doesn't remember falling down um she but then she thought she would have fallen down the night before. We're like, no, man, you were in bed. Uh, it was tough times uh, in that regard in the uh, in the brown house, frankly. And then um, politics. Let's talk politics, shall we? Recall Newsom, our governor. Recall, recall. Nap. He's staying. We're not kicking him out, as it turns out, which is good because I can't do, I can't go through any more riots around here. We we riot at the drop of a hat. No. No, we're not the ones who riot. That's what they say. No, no, we start fires. Yeah, we just burn down mountains. 
and stuff like that. Pretty amazing stuff. There was something else I want to talk to you guys about, though. What was it? I can't remember what it was. I'm, I, I'm sorry for the dead air. I can't remember. I thought, wow, I'm drawing a blank. My day was boring. I talked about that. Tire repair. I, wow. How long is this video? Five minutes? That's all the therapy I need? No. I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm going to break a rule right now. Um, because, you know, I have this rule, no politics, no religion on, uh, on this channel. Because it alienates people. People are like, well, hell, if, if you're a Christian, I don't want to talk to you. If you're not a Christian, I don't want to talk to you. If you're a Democrat, change your party. <laughs> I'm a libertarian. Get over it. But, um, so I was, uh, nope, I'm not going to break the rule. I have been watching these videos, um, tutorials for Adobe After Effects, for like special effects to use in videos and stuff. Can you believe it? I'm going to have special effects in my... No, I'm going to break the rule. I don't know. I, now I'm just babbling. Um, I, uh, I, I asked Cindy Brown <clears throat> this question because she is, that I'm aware of, a female. And uh, so she would have a, a unique take on this. And uh, there's this part in, uh, in, in the Christian Bible where it states that because of what Adam and Eve did, um, Eve's punishment is her... her uh, pains will be greatly increased during childbirth. First of all, what? I, I, I'm not questioning God, okay? Or your God or anybody's God. But what kind of punishment is that? It should be something else. Like, <laughs> from now on, you have to be a man. <laughs> that would be a punishment. Uh, pain so, so that greatly increased means, I would say, d using deduction, there were pains originally so it can always hurt a little bit. Now it's going to hurt a lot. But that also leads me to this. Um, that means she's already given birth. I should have no point of reference. My pains will be greatly increased. What does that mean? I've never given birth. Is that a, I don't know what that means. So they apparently had kids. How many kids did they have? Because all you hear about is Cain and Abel. And Cain was an asshole, as we know. Killed his brother. What a douche. I wouldn't have done it. Um, anyway, so I... That led me on another train of thought. I said to Cindy, uh, she's like, oh, that's interesting. Uh, I, I don't uh, I don't know. Uh, another train of thought. I said, well, you know, history is always written by the winners, right? If you read the American history version of World War II, let's say as it uh, involves Nazi Germany, we won. So we're going to have our take on it. Now, if they would have won, they would have their take on it, right? So and it, they won't necessarily correlate. They won't necessarily be the same. Because different ideologies, different people think they're right and wrong and all the other stuff. So history tends to be written by the winners is one of my sayings and it's copyrighted. <laughs> Not really. History is written by the winners and we know that uh, the male of our species has pretty much just dominated everything since as far back as we can go. The male uh, seems to be in charge. And I'm just wondering, uh, well, even like... Um, all the, the holy books um, talk about how man is supreme and, and women is a servant and a second being and all this, whatever it is, which I don't agree with it, but I'm not going to say anything. Um, but I did say something. So just before, okay, I, I, let me come to the, the, the crux of this, okay? So if history is written by the winners, men were apparently the winners, apparently God cursed the Eve person, poor thing. What if the woman was actually in command back in the day? And that's how she was able to convince her husband to eat from that tree. And that's when it happened. That's when God said, nope, not on my watch, people. Because they were people then. Uh, and so they switched roles. And from then on, Everything was written for the woman to be the servant. I don't know. This is kind of the stuff I think about. Hopefully none of that was offensive. It's just like mind wandering. Um, I have other thoughts on whether, uh, what creation's about and getting out of this stuff, which I don't want to share because some of it might be offensive to some people. But in that regard, I wonder if women were originally in charge. Females in charge. You know, I don't mind it. I, I wouldn't mind it. If my wife was in charge, I, I wouldn't mind it, frankly. Uh, you pay the bills. You make all the hard decisions. 
I just want to play with my models and make videos and drink beer. So anyway, that was a whole uh, cacophony of stuff to talk about, right? And I don't, I don't know how much of it was any fun or cool. But I'm starting to get back into the swing of this thing, baby. So um, we may or may not see a video tomorrow because tomorrow's Friday. And uh, sometimes on Fridays, I just don't feel like talking to anybody. But you might see one tomorrow. Um, but for sure, I'm pretty sure I'll be back on Monday, if not on Friday. So other than that, thank you for being here on Dirt Guy Drive Time. I hope you had a good time. hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, share, like, subscribe, and all that bullshit. I don't know why. I just think so. Other than that, if you're a woman, I respect you.